Calflora email alerts can let you know when specific species of interest are found in areas of interest for you. For instance, here's what it could look like in your inbox, alert, and then whatever you named your alert, and then the records that meet the criteria that you set. Where they came from, if they came from iNaturalist or Calflora or CCH, more information about them, and then you can click on the photo to learn more about that observation. For instance, this observation Adam Chasey added to Cal he saw it in 2017 and actually entered it in Calflora in 2017, but he edited it recently, which is why it showed up in my alert. From the calflora.org homepage to set up your alert, I have a list of species that I'd like to know if they are found in Mount Diablo. So I'm going to first create a plant list and then query by that plant list for my alert. My Calflora plant lists, and then I'm going to make a new list. I could add one plant na name at a time, or a list of plants. I'm going to copy and paste from my spreadsheet here. Add those, so they were all spelled correctly, good for me. And then name it Mount Diablo Plants of Interest. And save it. So this is a list of the species that I'm interested in knowing about if anybody observes them in Mount Diablo. Back to the Calflora homepage and go to Observation Search. And let's find Mount Diablo. And by opening layers and region, uh, there's a lot of ways to find what you might be interested in in a particular watershed, knowing what species are showing up in a watershed or a Jepson region, CNPS chapter, in this case, Mount Diablo is a protected area. To find it. Nope, north of there. Here it is. And when I click on it down here, it says Mount Diablo State Park because it's in this CPAD layer. If I wanted to know about a specific part of Mount Diablo and not the whole thing, I could draw a polygon, start drawing. Actually, I know this Mitchell Canyon area. So let's do that instead of all of Mount Diablo. Stop drawing, fold that up. So now I'm gonna say instead of in all of Mount Diablo in that selected area, I'm gonna say within my polygon and then go to more criteria Here's plant list, Mount Diablo plants of interest. And I'd also like to know about CCH, which are speci specimen data, and iNaturalist, if observations from either of those sources show up in my area of interest. So let's search and see how many of my list of 10 have already been seen in this area. 145, there they are. And then to set up my alert, I go to Tools, Save Searches, and I save this search. I'll call it Mount Diablo Alert. Save it. And I can use this to set up an email alert and load historical records onto Observer Pro. So if I wanted to go find these 10 species in this area of Mount Diablo, I could load them onto Observer Pro phone app. This demonstration is about email alerts. So here is my available search called Mount Diablo Alert. When I was getting ready to make this video, I did already set up that alert, but this is how you do it. I want weekly, add an alert. So now I have my two demo email alerts in here and I'll know when those 10 species are found in my polygon. If you have questions about email alerts or anything else from the Calflora homepage, contact Calflora. Here is our email address and please include the hyperlink so that we can better address your question. If you have a specific question about my email alert or my query on observation hotline, like that. Thank you.